Well, joining me tonight is Dr. Binayak Sen, someone who, of course, uh, had shot to prominence when he himself was jailed. Uh, he was jailed on charges ranging from treason to sedition and conspiring against the state. But Dr. Binayak Sen was freed after a sustained campaign. Dr. Sen, many differences, of course, in the two cases, but in some cases, many similarities. And I think one of them is that this is a battle or a injustice which is happening away from national headlines. This seems to be a woman that no one really cares about except activists who have been raising their voices. Why do you think this is? Diamani Barla is not an ordinary citizen of this country. She is a leader of the indigenous pe working people's movement of Jharkhand mm -hmm. and a tribune of the people's movement across this country. And uh, the fact that she has been denied bail and that she, her continued incarceration is simply another instance, another illustration of the contempt with which the, uh, the, uh, uh, the democratic norms are uh, held in this country and the legitimacy of dissent is denied in the, in course, in the democratic discourse. Diamani Barla's yes. continued incarceration is a matter of shame and she should be released immediately with immediate effect. She has been lead, uh, leading people's causes in a peaceful way. It is her right to agitate for the causes which she holds to be true. In fact, uh, Dr. Sen, I mentioned uh, earlier when I was talking about the case of Diamani Badla that we heard the DGP of Jharkhand say the law of the land is equal for everybody. Yet I mentioned what seems an obvious case and that of course is a cabinet minister's son who has been evading arrest for four months. Even though he's a sitting cabinet minister's son, he still hasn't surfaced even though uh, a court has finally given him bail. Do you find the contrast ironic? It's extremely ironic and it's not only ironic, it's shameful. The fact, as I said, Diamani Barla is a, uh, as an important leader and she has been leading absolutely legitimate uh, campaigns mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, for uh, rights which the, uh, uh, which the indigenous people have and uh, she should be, uh, her, uh, uh, her, uh, the, the, her campaign is entirely legitimate mm -hmm. and there is no question of her being kept in jail for these causes. But the battle lines are often very clearly divided in cases like this. You've seen it in cases like yours, Adayamani's case, different. But again, as soon as it comes up against the state, somehow it translates into the law or people who are say, uh, say that these are enemies of the state and that is how we have to view it. Do you think this kind of positioning or this kind of uh, branding is extremely dangerous? It's extremely dangerous because the legitimacy of dissent cannot be denied. And once the legitimacy of dissent is denied, and the, then uh, the whole the whole uh, political atmosphere will get extremely vitiated, and uh, the whole uh, the whole situation regarding uh, the uh, the uh, people's campaigns mm -hmm. for their rights will become uh, extremely fraught. So I think that in this situation. The people in power should, re should uh, reassess their priorities and uh, recognize the legitimacy of dissent, particularly in a case like Diamani Barla. We are seeing across the country how uh, the, the people who are engaged in human rights campaigns or in political cam people, uh, people's movements are being uh, uh, the provisions of the law are being used arbitrarily to curtail their activities and uh, to, uh, 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 to uh, stop their movements. This is an extremely dangerous sign for the, uh, for the society uh, in future. Do Dr. Sen, but uh, just to ask, uh, you, you know what, you've heard the critics and the critics will charge that the activists uh, are anti-development, that uh, Diamani Badla was uh, uh, looking and uh, protesting for a group of people but not looking at the larger interest, uh, or the larger interest of the state. In this case, the land was going to be used for setting up various IIMs. You, of course, have been charged with helping Maoists. The argument they would make is that the charges against Diamani in a different area, in a different uh, sphere, and you are very, very serious charges that you all are anti-development, anti-progress. How would you respond to those? This is simply not true. The whole uh, business of development, the the in the era of globalization and liberalization, the whole uh, business of development has become anti-people, and what we really need 
are uh, the, uh, 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 development uh, which is equitable and which fulfills the criteria of the directive principles of state policy in our constitution and that is something that is uh, not being uh, no, that we are not seeing mm -hmm. we are seeing development programs which are increasing the uh, uh, degree of inequality in society and in such a situation it is the uh, the uh, the uh, the way in which uh, political activists uh, and human rights activists are working for the rights of the people yes. that needs to be appreciated and the entire con uh, or the entire country mm -hmm. owes uh, uh, thanks to people like Diamani Barla for the way in which they have upheld the values of our constitution. Dr. Binayak Sen, thank you very much uh, for joining me tonight. As we said now, there's still no date yet fixed yet for the next thank hearing you. of her case. This may well go to the Supreme Court, as you said. But thank you very much for joining us tonight. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.